Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a real time get ready with me. This is a look, honey. Like, this is a look. Um, I don't even know how to explain this look. I wanted to give up so many times during it and I still don't know if I love how it turned out. I'm gonna see if I can get good pictures for it, but I don't know. I saw this look on Twitter. Let me see if I can find who it was, of who it was inspired by. But while I'm finding this picture, let me explain what a real time get ready with me is. I've done a few other videos like this on my channel and a lot of the times you guys really all love it. So pretty much what it is, it's just um, me getting ready in real time. And the reason that it's real time, well I speed it up to a timer because if this was real time it would be like an hour and a half video long and no one's going to watch that. So I speed it up so that it's more watchable but it's um, it has a timer on it so it's like timed for how long it really is. Okay, so this is who I was inspired by. Melissa's Pitter? Melissa Spitter? Melissa Spitter probably. Um, on Twitter. She inspired me for this look. This is like such a pretty look right here. Now clearly I did something different with it. Um, but the yellow crease really inspired me and like the dark on the lid with the yellow. I don't know, I really like the look of it so I kind of just did my own thing. I picked out my own colors and I of course, you know, did a little different technique than she did because hers is very different. And I also don't know what color she did on her lips or anything else like that. So I just sort of went with it and just see what I liked and what I didn't like and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm still pretty unsure of this look. I mean, I'm going to take it off. Soon I'm just going to spin class in like two hours, so I'm just going to take some pictures in this and then take it off, not go anywhere with this look on. But I just want to try it out, play around a little bit today, and I also wanted to record it. On my last um, hooded crease, on my last video where I talked about how to do a cut crease with hooded eyes, you guys asked me to do a video on like a real time with a dramatic look, so you guys can see how long it really takes me. Um, you asked for a cut crease, but I did it with this one because this one's a little bit more dramatic. It has a little bit of little bit more drama in there. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload content all the time. And um, yeah, it's pretty fun around here. It's a big happy fam, so subscribe. All right, I'm just gonna stop talking. Without any further ado, let's get on to the video. All right, let's get started. I'm not naked. It looks like I was like topless, but <laughs> I wasn't. So I'm first using the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. I forgot how much I love that primer so I'm just putting that all over and then I'm putting on this foundation by CoverGirl um, I don't know what it's called but yeah I'm using it It was pretty good I think it's like oh say lumen I cannot even pretend to know this name this is Tarte Shape Tape in the shade light neutral um, yeah I like shape tape a lot I finally got this shade in like one that matches me a little bit better I only had light for a while or like fair I think it was for a while but yeah, then I picked up Light Neutral and it matches a little bit better. I'm probably going to get another shade too that's a little bit darker as well. Um, but I'm also cream contouring. I really just wanted to go in today just like be beat, you know what I mean? And then I'm blending it all out. My beauty blender was a dirty and I was way too lazy to like clean it. So um, I just used brushes for a lot of this. And I just like, what did we do before beauty blenders? Because honestly, like I just, I don't even know. Beauty blenders are just so life. Like I... I mean, using a brush for my full face just felt super weird. So, yeah, I'm going to bake with my RCMA No Color Powder. You guys are the drill. Sorry, I just like yawned. <laughs> you guys know the drill for that. Um, I'm also chiseling out my underneath of my contour to make that more defined. Um, looking back on the footage, it was a little bit too defined if you ask me um this whole look was a little bit too extra if you ask me but i mean sometimes that happens when i'm just playing around and just piling makeup on my face it turns out way too hard and it goes uh too heavy-handed too quickly so contouring a little bit this is the anastasia contour kit i'm using the shade fun and then i'm just blending it up with the hula bronzer by benefit this is the carly bible palette and I was really upset by the highlighter because it really just looked like I just put like a dark blush on my cheekbones. It was like shimmery. I don't know. I mean, in the footage, it it sort of looks a little bit better. But I'm, I was just a little disappointed by it, honestly. I thought that it would look a little bit better. So I tried to lighten it all back up again with a lighter powder from the contour kit. 
but I don't know. I mean, it was fine. Um, I probably won't reach for it again anytime soon, but um, I was a little bit disappointed, not going to lie. Um, and I was really excited to try it. I picked it up at my local Ulta, so that was exciting that they are carrying that at Ulta. But yeah, I was a little upset to see that it was pretty heavy. Oh my god, it's yawned again. I don't know why I like, can't stop yawning. Um, okay, this is me carving out the outer corner of my eye so that I can have a sharper edge to my eyeshadows. So I'm first taking this yellow shade. Um, I know this is sped up pretty quickly, but this isn't a tutorial. This is a get ready with me. So um, try your best follow along if you want a tutorial for it. But yeah, I'm taking this yellow shade and I'm popping this in my crease. This is by NYX. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's NYX's only like yellow single shadow. Any yellow shadow is going to work. I'm also throwing this on my lower lash line. And then as soon as that's done, I'm taking a MAC 217 and I'm going in with my Morphe 350. I'm taking that orange shade that Morphe has and I'm popping that in my crease as well and just sort of buffing that up to my yellow transition shade that I put in the crease. Um, I really liked how this looked and I almost stopped right here and just added lashes and called it a day. But I was like, no, Tori, you came to show up, so let's finish the damn thing. So I also threw that on my lower lash line. I mixed Beauty Marked and Shadowy Lady by MAC and I put that on my lower lid and blended it up into my crease and then on the inner and outer corner of my lid. So creating like a halo eye and then I would just go back in with the orange and the yellow and blend it all together. This took me kind of a while to blend out. This is really a whole look about blending and taking my time with it honestly. So if I were to go back in and do it again, I would probably bring the black up a little bit more and I'd probably carve out my inner corner of my lid a little bit more and my tear duct to give me more of a sharper edge on the inner corner. It just sort of seemed blot. It kind of made my eyes look very heavy. I mean, looking back on the footage, it doesn't really translate very pretty in video. It definitely looked better in pictures because I knew my angles a little bit better, but in video, it's not that pretty of a look. On the center of my lid, I forget what this shade is. It's by MAC. I'll have it linked down below. But I just popped that in the center of my lid and I just sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus to make it a bit more vibrant and purple. So, yeah. That's what I did there. And then I'm just going back in and blending it out like I said. So just having that gradient blend from the black purple up into the um, orange into the yellow. I thought it was really pretty that way. Like I did like how it all blended out and smoked out. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I added a little bit of the black onto my lower lash line, highlighted it underneath my brow bone a little bit with a matte highlight shade. And then I began to go in on my waterline with a little bit of eyeliner. At first I used this pink color by Makeup Forever but it just ended up being kind of weird and I didn't really like it. Um, I am going in here with lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. And normally I cut my Wispies down, but I kept these like full length and I thought it looked really good. Like I should stop cutting my Wispies because the full length looked really, really nice. So yeah, first I'm just putting on some mascara on the upper and lower lashes. See, the pink just sort of makes my eyes look weird. I eventually go back in with a black and darken up my waterline, but yeah, I just quickly pop on some lashes. They're like super easy to put on today. Sometimes I like it's struggle bus with them, but it was pretty good. This look would also look really good with a wing. I just wanted to keep it with just the shadows, but... Yeah, you can see I tried to make the pink work. I tried to add a little bit more. I was like, something is not right. But it was just, I don't know. Like, the whole look was a little off at some point. There's always just something about it. I added a little bit of inner corner highlight to my eyes before I went in with the glitter. I originally wanted to do the glitter, but I couldn't find it. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm just not going to do it. But then I went back in and I added the glitter. Um, for my lips, I tried out a different variation of lips for um this look i first went in with like this nude and it was way too orangey and it just looked like a clown it was just so ugly and so not cute at that point i was like i just want to give up and like not even continue on but then i was like maybe i'll try a darker lip color so this is true brown k by kylie my camera cut out which is why i lost that footage um 
yeah here's me adding in that black and I think that the black just made it look so much better in the waterline um, I always get like dancer vibes whenever I do like a dark smoky eye and a dark lip it just reminds me of like dancer settle makeup which is like gorge I like love that makeup um, but yeah it's just kind of what it reminded me of I added a little bit of glitter onto my inner corner this is nude beach by Too Faced it's like my favorite glitter of existence I also popped it in the center of my lid but I didn't put glitter glue on, on my brush for that as it's pretty much just like loose sparkle glitter all over my lid at that point so I highlighted my collarbones and my shoulders a little bit uh, I took my mess of a hair down which I'm getting highlights today in half an hour T God I need my roots done so bad look at my roots holy god Tori like that's embarrassing I need my roots done so bad um, I just straightened like the top layer of my hair and the pieces you could see underneath because I'm really lazy. I did not want to straighten my entire head of hair. Um, laziest person ever. Little lazy life hacks. <laughs> just girly things. So yeah, I'm just straightening like pretty much what you can see of my hair. Um, I middle parted it today too and I normally hate middle parts on my hair. I mean, oh my god, my roots, they are so bad. I'm getting them done literally so soon. So thank god. Oh my god, they're like embarrassing to look at. Like, I'm sorry you guys have to look at this footage, but yeah, okay. Just straightening. I'm adding a little bit of triple sec by Dry Bar. I am obsessed with this stuff. And then I'm pretty much just playing around. At this point, I'm just even deciding if I like the makeup and if I just want to take it off or if I want to actually go through with it and take some pictures. So yeah, here I'm just deciding all that. And then that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all did enjoy this. I know it's kind of like a dramatic look, but you guys got to see kind of how I figured out how I stuck through it all in my mind without doing a tutorial and just sort of what it looks like when I play around with my makeup. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see my last real time gallery with me, that is right here. And if you guys want to see my last cut crease video that I was talking about, that's up here. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.